now let us move to the next topic that is a function so how we will define the function is uh, it is an relation from set a to set b function is a relation from set a to set b right you can call that relation as a function if each element of set a is mapped with unique element in set b then you can say that relation as an function so for example suppose i'll define function f from set a to set b right and suppose my set a contains elements a1 a2 a3 and a4 and my set b contains elements b1 b2 b3 and b4 so if this is the relation from set a to set b when i can call this relation as an function okay so very first condition uh, for this relation to become a function is every element of set a should have image in set b or you can say every element of set a should be related to some elements in set b so that is a very first condition and the second condition is that image or that relation should be an unique one means an element of set a should have only single image or unique image in set b right so for example if element a1 is related to b2 right element a2 is related to b1 right means every element of set a should be mapped with unique element in set b but at the same time at the same time more than one element of set a can have same image in set b so that is possible right means a1 and a3 can have image b2 right only thing is that image should be a unique one means a1 should not be related with b1 and b2 like that should not be the case but more than one element of the set a can have same image in set b right let us say suppose a4 is mapped with b4 so again one more point to remember is element b3 is not mapped by any of the element from set a so that is fine in the function okay so what is not allowed is suppose set a and set b a1 a2 and a3 b1 b2 and b3 only thing what is not allowed a1 should not have more than one image in b2 so this is not allowed okay so more than one element of set a can have same image in set b also some of the elements of set b may not be there in the mapping that is fine okay so for example real time example we can take if a set a is list of students and set b is their pointers like 8.9 8.2 6 and so on right so i can write set a as student 1 student 2 student 3 student 4 and so on and set b as pointers like 1 2 3 4 or like 6 7.2 8 and so on okay so let us say student 1 got the pointer 6 student 2 get the pointer let us say 3 
student 3 get the pointer 7.2 student 4 get the pointer it's it's also not necessary that every pointer is scored by an student so there are some pointers like 1 and 2 that may not be scored by an student means they are not in the mapping so that is finding the function right and most important thing to understand here is one student cannot have more than one pointer right so hence this example i can call as an function so the things to note here is every student will have an pointer and that pointer will be unique one meaning it's every student will have an image in the set b right that image is our pointer and also the point to note here is there are some pointers from the set b which may not be there in the mapping mapping meaning is there are some pointers which may not be scored by an student and there are some element in the set b which are left in the mapping so that is fine in the function and hence i can call this as an this mapping as an function now let us move to the next topic that is types of functions types of functions so very first type is one to one function one to one function or it is also called as an injective function okay so how it is defined a function is called one to one if distinct elements distinct elements in the set a have distinct image distinct image in set b so a function right it's called as an one to one if distinct important now distinct elements in set a should have a distinct image in set b for example your set a contains elements a1 a2 and a3 and set b contains elements b1 b2 and b3 so as per the definition a1 should have distinct image suppose b2 a1 is b2 a2 should have distinct image in set b let us say is b1 and a3 should have distinct image suppose it's b3 if this is the case i can call this as an one to one right but suppose it, if it is the case like a1 a2 and a3 and set b contains b1 b2 and b3 and suppose a1 will have an image b1 and a2 is also have image in b1 and a3 will uh, have an image b3 so if i want to check whether this is one to one or not right so first of all i need to check whether this is function or not right so every element of set a is a map right that is first condition is true right second condition to check whether it's function or not is every element should have an unique mapping or unique image in set b so a1 has b1 a2 has b1 a3 has b3 so images are unique so i can call this as a function but i cannot call this as an one to one why because distinct element in the set a are not having distinct image in set b because a1 and a2 are having same image like b1 right and hence i i can say here distinct element 
in the set A are not having distinct image in set B. Hence, I can say this is not one to one because A1 and A2 are having same image, right? They are not having distinct images. The second type of function is onto or it is also called as an surjective function. Surjective function. A function f you can say which is defined from set A to set B is said to be on to if every element of set B important every element of set B is mapped by at least one element of set A. A function you can call as an onto or surjective if every element of set B is mapped. So this is the first condition to note every element of set B. Till now there was no condition like this in function or in one to one. Right. So every element you know every element of set B is mapped by at least one element of set A. So for example, I will take example here for on to okay. set A and set B. Suppose set A contains elements A1, A2 and A3 and set B contains let us say only two elements right? that is B1 and B2. Now so to make this as an onto or subjective function right every element of set B should be there in the mapping that is the first condition right uh, you can see in uh, one to one function right there there can be some element in set B which are left in the mapping right that is fine in case of a function or one to one okay but to make the function as an onto every element of set B should be there in the mapping right and how that mapping should be should be mapped by at least one element of set A means B1 should be mapped by let us say A1 right and let us say B1 is also mapped by A2 right and A3 is let us say related to B2. So you can see B1 and B2 right both are in the mapping right. So each element of set B should be mapped by at least one element of set A. So B1 is mapped by two elements of set A that is fine and B2 is mapped by one element that is A3 from set A. So you can say this as an onto right. So if uh, consider a second case if element uh, set A has elements A1, A2 and A3 right and set B has an again two elements B1 and B2 and suppose A1, A2 and A3 are mapped with B1 right you can say this as an function but you cannot say this as an onto because element B2 is not there in the mapping it is left for the mapping right hence you can say this is not an onto okay now third type of function is one to one and onto or it is also called as an bijection okay so how it is defined a function or a relation 
from set A to set B is called bijection if it is both if it is both one to one and all to right so what is one to one function distinct element in the set should have distinct image in the set B distinct elements in the set A should have distinct image in set B that is your one to one and on to every element of set B is mapped by at least one element of set A so example you can have let us say set A contains elements A1, A2 and A3 and set B contains B1, B2 and B3 so to make this as an bijection right we need to satisfy both one to one and on to so make to make this one to one right every element of set a or you can say distinct element in set a should have distinct image in set b like a1 has b2 then a2 has b1 and a3 has b3 now we can see distinct element in set a have distinct image in set b and it is on to as well because every element of set b is mapped by at least one element of set A. So this function you can say as an it is a bijection. Right. Now let us see some examples on types of functions. Suppose set A contains elements 1, 2, 3 and set b contains elements a b c and d okay and let us say a function is defined as relation pairs 1 comma a 2 comma d 3 comma b Okay, I need to check whether uh, it's injective, subjective or bijection. Okay. So to check this, first of all, I need to draw the elements of set A and set B. So what are the element of set A? 1, 2 and 3. Element of set B are A, B, C and D. And let us show the mapping based on the function given. So function is defined like relation pairs 1a, 1 is related to a, then 2d, 2 is related to d, 3b, 3 is related to b. Okay, I will check whether it is injective or 1 to 1. Then surjective, whether it's on to and third one whether it's in bijection one to one and on to okay now we can see the mapping so every element of set a that is one two and three have unique mapping in set b that is one is mapped with a two is mapped with d and three is mapped with e three is mapped with b so you can say <coughs> Uh, distinct element in the set A have distinct image in set B, right? So you can say this is as an this is uh, this function as an injective function, right? Now we'll check for surjective that is onto. So to check for onto function, what is condition in onto is every element of set B should be there in the mapping, right? And we can see there is an element c which is not there in mapping so onto function says every element of set b is mapped by at least one element of set a Means every element of set b should be there in the mapping and as we can see element c is not mapped by not mapped by any of the element of set a hence you can say this is not an surjective and as it is not surjective you can say it's not an bijection i will see one more example 
suppose I want to classify the uh, function defined as n to n that is a function defined from sort of natural numbers to natural numbers I send one to one and on to right and this is function is defined in three different ways the first function f of n is defined as an n square so I need to check whether it is one to one and on to suppose uh, I take n value as one then f1 of one becomes an one because n square is one then f2 of n for n values 2 f of n becomes 4 then for n value as 3 this f of n becomes an 9 okay so you can see here a distinct element of set a that is 1 2 3 and so on have distinct image in set b because every number has its square as a different integer right so you can say this as an one to one function right i will check whether it is on to or not as this function is in square that is n square right so numbers like uh, natural numbers like 3 5 7 and so on may not be there in the mapping right because they are not a square of an any element from natural numbers right so you can say this is not an onto function right the second one function define as f of n as n plus 3 so if i take f2 of 1 that is n value as 1 i can get 1 plus 3 as an 4 then f2 of 2 n value as 2 i'll get 2 plus 3 as an 5 then f3 of sorry f2 of 3 for n value of 3 i'll get 3 plus 3 that is 6 you can see for distinct value of n right you have distinct image so you can say this is an one to one function right but i cannot say but i cannot say this is an on to why because you cannot get uh, addition as 2 right which uh, your, your function is defined as n plus 3 i cannot take value of n right such so, such a way that n plus 3 becomes n 2 so 2 is the element from natural numbers or from the set which may not be mapped by any element from the natural numbers so i can say this f2 of n n plus 3 is not an on to function okay the third function defined that is f3 of n as modulus of under root of n okay now take n value as 1 right it becomes under root of 1 as 1 then f3 n value as 2 you can say under root of 2 you'll get one point something i'll take an integer that is one only then n value as 3 you'll take under root of 3 again you will get one point something so this i can map to one only if i consider integers and for 4 right it's under root of 4 you will get value as in 2 right so you can see here distinct element that is 1 2 3 and 4 are not having distinct image in set b because 1 2 and 3 are having same image that is 1 right so you cannot say this as an 1 to 1 function right now check whether i can call this as an on to function meaning is can 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 all the natural numbers be in square root of natural numbers answer is yes you can have uh, one at the square root of some element you can have two as square root of some element you can have three at the square root of some element you can have four as the square root of some element and so on this every element of set b this natural numbers is there in the mapping or is mapped by at least 
one element of set A and hence you can say this as an onto function. So the function defined from set of natural numbers to natural numbers as uh, under root of n is an onto function but not an one to one function. Now next topic to understand is function composition. So let us understand it directly by an example. Suppose f of x is given as x plus 2, g of x is given as x minus 2 and h of x function is given as 3x and you are asked to find out find g o f of x then f o g of x then f o f of x g o g of x and f o g o h of x so this o is called as a function composition okay so first you are asked to find f o g of x that is g composition f of x so this g o f of x can be written as g of f of x okay which is equal to g of what is f of x is given as x plus 2 right then i need to apply g function on x plus 2 what is g of x function g of x function is x minus 2 so i need to replace this x by x plus 2 so this becomes x plus 2 minus 2 right so 2 2 gets cancelled answer is x okay the second one f o g of x so this can be rewritten as f of g of x then f of g of x function is x minus 2 right so i need to apply f on x minus 2 so f of x function is x plus 2 right and this x needs to be replaced by this x minus 2 so x minus 2 plus 2 so answer becomes x then third question ask is f o f of x so this can be written as f of f of x so f of f of x function is x plus 2 then again apply f on x plus 2 this becomes x plus 2 plus 2 this becomes x plus 4 right similarly if i do this for g o g of x i'll get answer as x minus 4 right and the last one ask is f o g o h of x fifth one so this can be rewritten as f o g of h of x so this becomes f composition g of h of x function is 3x Again, this can be rewritten as f of g of 3x. So, is equal to f of what is g of x function? It is x minus 2, right? So, x will be replaced by 3x. So, it becomes 3x minus 2 right then again need to apply function f on 3x minus 2 so function f is x plus 2 so replace this x by 3x minus 2 it becomes 3x minus 2 and this plus 2 as it is so minus 2 plus 2 cancel answer is 
3x